So what's up, y'all? So I'm making this video today. Um, I think I made a video on this subject some time ago. Um, if I did, it was some years ago. So I had my car towed to a particular uh, car repair shop to get it fixed. So it's like way down the way. I could have took it, re you know, somewhere closer like to the car sh uh, repair shop that I usually take it to, but they have jacked my car up so much, I just didn't even want to take it there anymore. So um, I got some uh, work, I'm getting work done concerning the claim. Um, today was my walking day and I didn't get a chance to walk because I'm, I'm taking care of business right. So I decide to walk home. Now, it i i think i did about 10 plus miles but hey that's good that's great that's awesome i usually do about anywhere from four to six miles when i do walk anyway so as i was walking i was walking down highways and then i'm walking through hoods because i'm following my um my uh, gp to tell me exactly you know guide me to the uh, right streets to take to get where um, I needed to go because a lot of the streets are blocked off by freeways and highways and, you know, interstates or whatever. So I noticed while I was um, walking these, uh, I'm just going to say wet, uh, pale people giving me certain looks, kind of dirty looks, angry looks, kind of bitter looks. And I don't really pay too much attention to stuff like that, but... I try to stay aware and and try to make sure I'm in tune with the general um, energy around me. So I tend to um, notice this uh, practically all day. I mean, getting some dirty looks. And I usually don't get looks like that. But sometimes I do detect. It determines depending on what's happening at the time. So when I started first started noticing noticing these these bitter looks and mean looks from um, non black people, pale people. Okay, uh, this was years ago, and I was like, okay, I could see if this was always the case. It happened every day, but it's not like that where I am now. Where I live, it's like eleven percent. Uh, melanated people, deeply melanated people. I'm not talking about the um, the brown. You know, we have a lot of brown people, a lot of Mexicans, South and Central Americans who are melanated and brown skin. All right, so I I'm talking about the deeply melanated people. It's like 11% here, but it's you know everyone pretty much either get alone or they stay out of each other's way. But certain times I would notice a hostility when. Other times I didn't. So I started paying more attention to it. And it seemed to happen around the time like when Obama was uh, selected to be a president. Uh, hostile looks and stuff like that. Um, uh, when if a police committed a crime against us like uh, murdering us uh, unarmed like they usually do where you always unarmed or whatever and they get um, the few cases or the couple of cases they may have uh, been brought to justice or it seemed like it it was going to go that way I noticed all of a sudden these nasty looks and stares and eye rolls and and stuff like that and um just other times uh when you know the the big the on the news the big information that's coming out on the news kind of like you know went our way black people's way you know um in a, in certain instances so i also noticed that to me like when the when the cop got got off for for obvious murder even if it's, it was a, it was a child, it was a, you know the the energy that I picked up was more calm, 
um, I hate to say it, maybe even sometimes even pleasant. All right. So um, I'm trying to figure out uh, what is what's going on, because I do not watch the news. I don't watch TV at all, really. I, every blue moon, I might cut on the TV, turn it on or whatever. Um, but I'm not a TV person. I usually get my news from, you know, social media or whatever. So I'm not aware of what uh, has happened recently. But I'm thinking, first of all, most of these people out here are Republican. And um, Homeboy uh, won the selection. He got, he was selected POTUS. All right, of America, Donald Trump. So you would think that they would be more calm and, you know, everything would be a little bit more upper, you know, echelon type, good feeling vibes coming from them. I didn't get that today. So I'm kind of going to try to, uh, I'm just going to uh, look for some news that may have come out because it's got to be something. It has got to be something because I didn't just get that that look and that you know the stare and the that that type of energy because I walked through a certain neighborhood I was on the you know busy highway street walking um I walked for miles and miles so I uh, bumped into a few people here and there um one person uh, in his yard and then another person I'm crossing the street and he, this person, this man gave me a look like I could, if I could, I'd get away without run you over. And then at the place where I dropped my um, car off, they tripping. This is like the second time I've been there for work. And the first time was like, it was a, um, it was a claim. It was, they was like, okay, they wrote it down and they was like, okay, we, it's going to take us a couple of hours or uh, woo woo or whatever. And we'll, you know, I'll call you when we're done. I said, cool. So I took a walk. That was first time. So this is the second time me coming here. And it's three of them at the desk. And one is like, well, um, all right, this is a claim. Yes, it's a claim. I got it from corporate. You know, I didn't say that, but I'm thinking that. And then, you know, it's like, well, why didn't you go back to the other place where you got the work originally done at and... Um, well, we can't get to it today and yada, yada. What's the problem, boy? You going to get paid? When you get a claim, when a claim comes to you, it doesn't matter where the original work was done. They pay you for doing it over or, or you know, fixing it, refixing it or whatever. Changing um, a part or whatever. You getting paid. What's, your, what's the beef? But one of them especially was like... Um, uh, no, nah, we, you know, I, I, I wouldn't have been surprised if he would have said, no, nah, we can't do this. I'd have been right on the, on the phone talking to corporate. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when I pick my, my stuff up, I see that, I sense that same attitude. As long as it's not too forceful, I don't care. But it, if it gets out of hand, I'm just going to report them. But, you know, it, it, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what happened today so i'm gonna do my due diligence to see what information came out because i know it's got to be something so i would like to know if my fellow um uh melanites or uh, with uh what you know some people might say you're a melanin or whatever okay black folks um do you ever have you ever experienced this have you ever noticed it I mean, not just, you know, some place, like I said, is more pronounced than others. I'm not talking about something that you experience every day. It's just every once in a while you experience this, this, you know, more attitude or hostility or whatever from these people than usual. Have you noticed that um, what was happening or, or what, you know, I would be, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate if you would share your story uh, in the comments. I really appreciate you all for watching. Please like and share my videos and um, subscribe to the, the channel, support the channel. I'd appreciate it, y'all. Peace.